Ah, welcome back to Farm Sim, Farm Sim 19. It's our Let's Play series here, and we are uh, just about finished up our harvest. We've got probably what, one, two, probably three, four more passes left, and we'll have a harvest done. I think we can get this guy going. Now. This field here is now going to become a grass field, in which we're going to use our. Uh, to fill our, our hay barn and to fill our silage pit. That is going to be the plan. I gotta kick that worker out because we gotta get this thing done. Before the cedar catches us and then we can go sell all these soybeans and go buy us another field get us our third field going uh, this like I said this field here is going to be relegated just to grass for now where we can make hay and uh, make silage and so that we can uh, like we'll be able to get a lot done and that way we'll have plenty of grass to uh, to work with See our tank fill there. It's about time to do a little bit of maintenance on our uh, on our combine here. probably the header just as much as it is the combine. It hadn't slowed down yet though. It's still it's still thrashing at six miles an hour. There it is. Go ahead and get our pipe out. Where you can't, you can't see. You just have to guess when you pull up for a first person view to the uh, to the trailer there. It's a lot. Normally you can see it. Well, we need to find a place that's got the best soybean price at the grain mill. That's going to be up near, if I'm right. Yep, field 14. Seems to always be our best place to go. We got a good 18,000 soybeans. It's a good cash crop. It's not bad for our one big field and our small field there, but our next harvest will be on two large fields. Well, not large, not the biggest fields, but 18 and 19 are pretty good sized fields. That's why I'm glad I went ahead and spent the extra 120, 130,000 on the bigger combine right off the bat, so that I knew I, if I if I could buy the field, I could at least get it harvested. It may take forever to get it sown. I may have to make two or three trips carting, but at least I could get the the, the harvesting part of it done quickly. So. 
this right here where should be plenty enough money that we can we'll have enough of a buffer to get us through to the next harvest and we should have an entire field uh, an entire another field ball wish it was still in great demand but you know we'll get to that point where we have a silo again and can and can keep enough grain on stock that when we have a great demand we can really capitalize oh my over 200,000 already okay oh the soybeans are good 31,000 man that's a harvest but like I said we've been running the soybeans real hard here lately so we're gonna have to we're not gonna be able to do soybeans again for a couple of crops we can do a few other crops first um, I think we need to maybe wear on some canola a little bit because we're going to end up driving the market price down too much uh, if we just continually keep running the same crop yeah. so. there's our little farm coming into view castle up on top of the hill see I'd like to own all of these eventually definitely think it's good to have 18 19 20 21 11 10 13 12 22 all those fields will eventually be ours I'm hoping to continue this series until I have an entire map buyout uh, you know so that I own the entire uh, all the fields all the area and I'd like to do it all without having to do any contracts just with regular farming the fields that we own so let's go in here and let's buy our new piece of property and like I said unfortunately that is cotton only thing we can do is plow it out you know I wish you could hire the job out. Like, you know how you do the contracts? I wish you could do the hiring for a contract. You know, just like, you know, contract somebody to run that field. And, you know, you only get 30% of the profits or whatever and let them take the rest. Or, you know, 30% of what the field makes. And they get the rest. You know, very reduced amounts. So you don't just do that for the whole, for the whole map. But uh, I think it would be a... A good way because then I could find and then I could actually get the cotton harvested without having to sew it under but we're just gonna have to plow it under that's all we're gonna be able to do okay we just spent 130 180 thousand dollars that hurt yeah that hurt it's fine part there actually I want to move the combine take the combine over here and get the maintenance done on it we get the header done. Should be well enough in the trigger. A little lag. Just a little bit. Hey, the header, yes, repair. Hey, look at there. See if I can get it to read just the combine. Maybe. Yes. Money well spent to have a good, fast, hard working combine. Good old Massey Ferguson here. Park it back in its little hole until it's time to uh, use it again. Right where it belongs. There we go. This guy should be just about done. As soon as he gets done, we're going to shoot him over to our new field and get the cover, cover crop put down. 
it should be the last time we have to sow this field. Pretty much indefinitely. Actually, we're going to go ahead and kick him now. Uh, he's just planting grass. I'm not going to wait on him to plant grass to get a cover crop down for us. On a field that we need to be producing. He can plant that. We, we can get that planted after. Well after. We could even take a plow and put these fields together. That could be an idea. So have at it there. Cotton's not real good. Yep, yeah, sewing the cotton under. Sad, but I uh, gotta do it. There's just no good way not to. Well, that is an idea. Because if we take the tractor, we can plow a line right across here. Boom. Just connect them up. Take out this entire middle strip here. Pretty weird sounds. Connect them up again. Here. They maybe even extend it a little. Yeah, I think there's some good extensions we can do with this field. Once it becomes that time. This stupid car is in the way. Cars just sitting there. Why is it sitting there? Now it's gonna move. I guess I've never seen a track. Move. Maybe not a guy walking on top of a sower, but you know. It is a game. So that's why, yep. I've had enough of leaving the uh, uh, controls. I don't want to reset the video camera. Yep, that's it. That's all the traffic I can take. I'm, I hate them getting in the damn way. It just caused me a headache. Tractor. I think we do well to try to make us some more grass while we wait on him to uh, sow that new field. Probably a little early on the grass again. We're not going to get a huge yield out of it. So much of a reason not to. Especially seeing as how, ooh, we have all, we need to make our way over to that new field, around the new field over there, because it'll have fresh grass and hadn't been cut at all. So we should get some really good yields out of it. We're just gonna cut our way over there to it. And be done. We'll hurry up and get that field sown.
wonder exactly how far over around maybe to the road I think the road would be a good place you can see with the taller thicker grass how much better it uh On about well, a little past the road actually. A little bit past. Yeah, that hill's probably taking its toll on that smaller tractor pulling that big sower. You can see where I've cut grass before and where I haven't. See, once we have the grass planted in the field over there, we can work it like a crop. We'll go through and harvest it every day. We'll really get it going. You know, we can try to get our... Uh... See, I could extend that field way out here too. That would be a bad idea. Just to go ahead and extend those fields out a little bit. All this grass cut takes a lot of time, but it really gives me a, it allows the worker to get nice, full, straight rows on the fields, and it allows the, uh, see, you can't have a worker harvest outside of the, uh, outside of the fields, they, it always screws them up, you know, it says, you know, don't use them, I don't even know if I can hire one, let's see, see, he just cuts everything off says they've completed their task. Um, this is helper E and he's chugging along up this hill. Yeah, steep hill is just killing us with a low horsepower tractor. So we still need to put the, uh, getting a stronger tractor at the uh, forefront of what we do here. I'm gonna have to make that a priority because he is super struggling to get over that hill. I didn't really, don't really realize how much hill it is until you get the field and you see it. Like, oh man, way too much. And that was kind of like my debate of getting field 26 or 27 or even 25 over here. It's so much hill. You, know, you worry about the machines. You know how much work the machines have to do to, to pull the. Uh, pull the large implements you know for that matter even working you know even this tractor pulling the grab you know cutting and pulling the, the loading wagon ah oh, come on mate I'm gonna mess up my rows dick take that I guess I understand why they don't make them super smart AI. You know, they do need the player to really work it. Uh, but man. I feel like sometimes they're just a little overly stupid. Because, yeah, look at them struggling getting over that hill. I'll be happy to see our grass coming in the other uh, the other field there soon.
tomorrow, this should be much easier. Come on, little Massey, you can do it. Maybe not. Oh, that's a lot. It's a lot trying to bounce down through there, hauling the trailer and the mower, and you got a front end loader on here. It's a lot on this little tractor, but it seems to do pretty well. Little Massey does just fine with it. Come on. Try to run over the highest parts and really get it pushed down. Go ahead and try to get everything compacted. A wheel loader works a lot better, but Probably you just need to buy a leveler to help push it around. Right now, this seems to work pretty well. I'll level it off. So next time I come in here with the with the loaded trailer, I know I can make it through. Let's see what kind of. Oh yes, we're at 100 percent. 48,000 in here, looking good. How bad is our guy struggling? Oh, he's struggling tough. Struggling tough. All right. Well, I think that's going to be all for today. I think it's been a pretty productive day. We bought our new field. Uh, this guy's going to, we're going to struggle on with this little tractor pulling this big implement up over this mountain here. Um, you know, we've got our cover crop in field 19. We've got half of our grass sown in field 20. We've almost got our cover crop in for field 18. Um, so I'm going to be pretty pleased to uh, get these fields planted. Uh, I think because we sold all of our straw, we'll put, uh, I don't know, either wheat or barley. Uh, when the cover crop's grown this time, I'll look and see where the prices are. But I believe we'll probably go wheat. Uh, off of field 19 and canola off of field 18 is what I think we're going to go with um, that way we've got straw coming in from that field that we can fill our barn up with and have that nice little backlog that if we ever need to go to sale we can go make 10, 15,000 uh, quickly just having it in storage not having silos I, I feel it's the only way we can really store anything and uh, so, next time I see y'all, we'll be back and we'll be ready for, uh, you know, we'll have some crops growing and we'll be ready. I'll, I'll bring y'all back for the harvest for, uh, for these two fields and show you how we're getting along with the hay and everything else. So, appreciate it. You know, please like, follow, subscribe, do your thing, and we'll see y'all next time.